Good morning again. Welcome to this episode. Um, it's another overcast day. As we head into Juneau is the capital of Alaska. I believe it's about 30,000 people as another overcast day. We're slowly, slowly waking, making our way in. It is just before 6 a.m. And we're supposed to be able to get off the boat at 7. I've got another excursion built. Uh, interesting, this is the state capital. There are only three ways to get into Juneau. The first is via a ship, the second is via an aeroplane, and the third is via the birth canal. This is what our guide said yesterday. Uh, there is no way to get into Juneau by road or rail. So basically you have two options. I have a shore excursion bo uh, booked for a little a while later and looking forward to it. We're slowly pulling into port. It looks like a very quaint little town. Not sure I'd want to live here in the winter though. Hi again. So I'm doing an excursion which has two parts. The first is on a boat. We are going whale watching. And the second part is to the Mandelbaum Glacier, which we caught a glimpse of and looks massive, way bigger than the one I saw two days ago. Even if uh, we don't see whales and we've only been out about 10 minutes. It really is pretty uh, The clouds have lifted a little bit. I mean it's still pretty chilly. Nobody's happy to get in the sun tan. salmon jerky or dried salmon or salmon biltong whatever you want to call it for the first time not bad it is now 10 40 in the morning the woman at the kiosk on the boat because i'm still on the boat tried to persuade me that it'll go well with a bloody mary but it's a little early for that even for me even without the whales Two glaciers from, yeah, 
Of course, with that, I also have to say a huge thank you to the rest of our crew today. We have Emma back there in the galley with the chocolate sample, all the beverages and snacks. Thank you so much, Emma. Also, I have to say a huge thank you to the rest of our crew today. We have Emma back there in the galley with the chocolate sample, all the beverages and snacks. We've just arrived at the Mendenhall Glacier. This is the Mendenhall Lake below it. And up there is the glacier. I am about to go on a two mile hike. One mile there, one mile back. To what I believe, to something called Nugget Falls. Which I believe is supposed to be good although the path might be blocked because there was a little bit of a flood a couple of days ago hopefully it'll all be paved like this and basically this is the trail that I'm taking up to the falls there Nugget Falls which is not far from the glacier can't actually get to the glacier there are a lot of people on the trail I found a quiet moment but lots and lots of people, but it is beautiful. The mountain up there, top covered in cloud. Really, really enjoying this. I definitely need to do more hiking and Alaska seems a good place to do it. I'll just have to be back, not on a cruise again. Maybe another camp, shorter camping trip with someone, but I gotta get back here. Every now and again, you come across these little streams coming down from the mountain, and they'll go down and flow into the lake, which you can see in the distance there. Getting closer to the falls, but I can see that I won't actually be able to get to the glacier. On the other hand, I'm not that disappointed because two days ago I did get really close to a couple of glaciers. And this is Mendel Hall Lake, which runs down into Mendel Hall River, which goes down to the sea. There are about 10 things named after him, which is quite funny seeing as he never ever came to Alaska. But he devised a system for which they measured and pinpointed the actual border between Canada and Alaska, or the USA. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat in grey skies, there is a drizzle and it just keeps the rain off my glasses. But despite the driz drizzle, I am thoroughly enjoying this hike. And it looks like this is pretty much as far as I can go. Oh, I can actually walk down there. I'm not going to cross the water to get onto the sandbar, but I will go down to that little ledge. Definitely a much more spectacular view of the waterfalls. And also of the lake. Lots of people out here. Excuse the shaking. And if you're willing to get your feet wet, you can wade across to the sandbar there. But I'm not going to do it. You might get a bit of a better view of the glacier, but no, nah, that water is freezing cold. Okay, these scratch lines in the rock of when the great glacier came down the valley carrying stones and rocks and stuff with it and scratched these lines in the rock below. So this is called observation point and over there you can see Nugget Falls where I was you can see at the bottom two people standing, tiny figures. That's how big this place is. And then to the left of that is the glacier. 
which used to reach way beyond where I'm standing now, but has retreated. So the mist is coming in slightly, but still the view is amazing. And like with other glaciers, you have little bits of ice breaking off and floating down. Really, really nice walk. One final look at the, at the glacier and then I'll head back. There is an observation center here. Well, it's a pretty much the same view I got from observation point, but from inside. So I don't think I'll go there. I think I'm going to go. There's no, I'm on a walkway at the moment. There's another one a little bit further on after the visitor center where they say that sometimes you can see bears so from the bridge so I'm going to do that instead of the visitor center I just learned something <laughs> that blob okay. that you're looking Thank at right you. there is a porcupine apparently porcupines climb trees and build their nests there so apparently this is an area frequented by by bears but uh, there's been flooding here recently and the bears don't like that so they shoved off it still is a really pretty little area with a creek flowing down with the walkway and observation deck and creek carries on down below. Really, really pretty. Beautiful, beautiful view. The clouds have lifted a little bit so I can get a better picture of the glacier. It truly really is stunning. Up on the side there you can get a little glimpse of the falls that I walked to. Truly, truly beautiful. It's mid-afternoon and we are slowly, slowly pulling out of Port in Juno. It's been a fantastic day. This morning was just so spectacular. The whale watching. Um, it was difficult to get the whales on camera because by the time I managed to focus on them, get my camera out, focus on them, and uh, get ready to record, they were gone. But I did get manage to get little bits uh, on film. I hope you enjoyed them, on, on video at least. And this afternoon at the Mendelhall Glacier, it was just so beautiful there. By the way, as we pass, look at these houses here. People really living, I mean, they got all the basics, electricity, water, um, you name it. But boy, this is a different lifestyle, a different pace here. So this is the state capital, I think I mentioned about 33, 34,000 people live here. Um, in terms of the mental hall uh, this, this afternoon, um, I actually had thought that we'd get a lot closer to the glacier, if not be able to actually get on it. Um, that was not the case. I wasn't disappointed though, because two days ago I had in the Tracy Arm Fjord, I got a chance to get so close to those the two glaciers there. Um, if I hadn't done that, I would have been disappointed with today. But I was actually a little worried that today was going to be more of the same, which it certainly wasn't. So all in all, it was, it's been a great day. Um, I'm looking forward to dinner later on, but before I'm going to have drinks with a couple who I met uh, on a tour two days ago, and they were on the tour again today. So uh, it's good. I'm not going to film them. I don't like filming other people. Because they're on holiday and a lot of people when they film that kind of puts them on edge so i'll show you what i get for dinner and then that'll be it for today
So for tonight, my first course, thank you. I'm having caprice, oh sorry, caprice salad, which hasn't arrived yet. And also I've ordered a glass of wine and looking good. Here's the second part of my starter, the caprice salad. It looks good. Everything is really well presented. Even if it's not the greatest, like an occasional overscooked fish, it's still very well presented. So the main course is grilled salmon with steamed vegetables. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks good. And the first part of dessert is apple pie with ice cream. Yes, I know I shouldn't be eating this, but what the hell. I walked a lot today. And to finish up a great meal with great company, uh, a little cheese platter and a cup of coffee. Okay, dinner was really, really great. I sat with a couple that I met. They've been on a couple of tours together from Michigan. Really nice people. We had a couple of drinks before. We'll meet again tomorrow evening. We're doing separate tours tomorrow. We are now on our way to Ketchikan. We will disembark tomorrow morning. Uh, this is the last stop in Alaska. The day after tomorrow we stop in Vancouver, Canada and then unfortunately Tuesday morning the cruise comes to an end. But it has been truly amazing. As you can see from the islands behind me, we are at the moment sailing through the inner passageway of the Alaskan coast and uh, the water, I must say the whole cruise it has never been bumpy, rough seas or anything like that. You can barely feel that the ship is moving. And like I said in an earlier video, being so far forward, it's truly, it's really quiet. So uh, that's it for this video. Please join me for the next one.